and I just want to tell you that you've taken so much away from everybody. In your selfish ways, you didn't even call 911. And you went home and pretended like nothing happened for days until Mr. Hall turned you in. And for that, I hope you rot in hell along with Mr. Hall. It has been 227 long and sad days since I first received that horrible phone call. I was told that my little sister, Vicki, was stabbed and my two nephews lost their life during a brutal attack. Mr. Spurlock, you have affected the lives of so many that I don't even know where to begin. Timber Brown was only 12 years old. He had his whole life to look forward to. Timber was a fun, loving boy. He loved life to the fullest and he had the kindest heart. Timber enjoyed NASCAR, riding dirt bikes, snowmobiling, camping, kayaking with his family. Timber always had the most amazing smile that we will miss forever. They will never get to share the joys of watching Timber go through high school, go off to college, get married. None of the things that a family has the right to. You, Mr. Spurlock, took that from us. Jonathan, 25 years old, was Timber's oldest brother. He also was a NASCAR fan, loved the outdoors, kayaking, and camping, but most of all, he loved his little brother Timber, as we will not get to watch John go through the journey of his adult life. He was attending college, just starting a new job, and loving life when you, yes you Mr. Sporlock, took that from us. Stop acting like an innocent bystander. You yourself admitted that you heard the cries for help com coming from inside that house and you did nothing. That says a lot for what kind of a man you are. Did it ever cross your mind to call for help? When you saw your friend come out that front window holding that bloody knife, did you ever even think of calling 911? But the facts are you stood outside Jeff Porter's house, knew a crime was taking place, heard the cries for help, and still chose to do nothing. Didn't for one second you ever thought something was wrong? When Joseph Hall needed help from jumping out the window, you helped him. You just drove away as my sister was left fighting for her life along with Jeffrey Porter. We will never know if you would have helped out. This all could have turned out different. Take a look back at all of the wrongs you could have stopped. Mr. Spurlock, you are just as much to blame as Joseph Hall.